everyone welcome back to my channel i am cynthia also known as creative mama of three here on youtube and on instagram and today is friday and i am here to do another friday sews with y'all um like i said in the previous video i'm probably going to be doing friday sews maybe every other friday i'll try to do it every friday if i can but most likely it'll be every other friday just probably for the summer because i'm trying to spend some time with my family and to do things the weather has been fantastic in the south so we've been going out and doing things we went to um a library event yesterday and my oldest daughter made a dragon egg i'll post a picture of that here and also my middle daughter also made a dragon egg and i'll post a picture of that one there as well our library is very good we really have enjoyed it um due to you know the pandemic they haven't had really many events in the last two years and they're just starting to pick it up again um before the pandemic we would go to the library at least four or five times a month um if not more sometimes because they would have really good events so i'm glad that they're starting that up again we go there so often that everybody knows us by name <laughs> which is great you know the library is a great place to be so to but today i actually have something to show show you i made my husband a pair of shorts i used this pattern here 8022 it's a pajama pattern but it's just really a an elasticated um, waist woven fabric with an elastic waist these do not have pockets and I really can't put pockets in there because there's no side seam which is great though these sew up in like an hour I would say from start to finish you can have a pair of either the pants or shorts in about an hour so I use this pattern and I used this this fabric, if you've been with my channel for some time, about this time last year-ish, I made my husband a shirt out of this fabric. I'll post a picture of that here. He loved it. I don't remember off the top of my head what pattern I used, so I'll either put it here or I'll just link that video in the description box where I made him that shirt. This is from a sheet it's a pottery bond sheet that i got at goodwill i think i paid maybe 2.99 the most i would have paid is 2.99 because it depends on what cashier you get sometimes sheets are $1.99 sometimes they're 2.99 you know but 2.99 i still have some of it left i don't know little hanging piece <laughs> i don't know what i can do i don't think i can make another garment for my husband i could probably make maybe something for my nephew maybe something that is small but i did get a lot out of that so what i did is i made him a pair of shorts i'll post a picture here i really tried to get him to wear the shirt with the shorts it looked so cute but he would not let me do it he he didn't even button up the shirt he had the shorts on he had the shirt on and he was just like I don't want to wear them together. I don't think they look good together. And I was like, but they do. They look great together. But so he wore the shorts with a different shirt. But hey, they fit him well. Um, since I already made him a pair of uh, short, um, like pajama shorts. I made it out of fle uh, flannel. I made him speed racer shorts. I could put a picture of that there over the summer. And he really likes those. I don't know for some reason every time i make my husband shorts from that pattern i always make them too long like they're all the way down to his knees so i really need to take it up maybe two or three inches what i need to do is i need to write on the envelope like take a take a, a measurement of the inseam and then write down how long is the ideal length because i think that if i would have not had to have if i would have made them the right length I would have had more of this to maybe make him another one. So the same thing with the speed racer shorts. I made them too long and I cut off probably four inches off the bottom. And if I didn't have to do that, I would have had more to make him another pair. I could have made him two pairs of the speed racer shorts. So that was my contribution to the hashtag he made June 
22, um, which is being hosted by Adam Sows. And I think he, there's another one. I think Lisa One Show. I think that's her handle, I believe, on Instagram. I don't know her YouTube channel, if, even if she, or if she has one. Adam Sows has a YouTube channel, and he does Friday Sews pretty much every week, and he does a wide range of stuff. He does clothes, quilts, I think in this week's Friday Sews, he showed some little uh, zipper pouches that he made, which are really cute, really cute, and then he made like a travel bag as well. So he does a lot of great things. So I would definitely check him out if you haven't. I will post, I guess, I will... Um, yeah, I guess I'll post a link to his channel down below so you can see what he does. He lives in the UK and he has a really cute dog, even though he didn't show his dog this week. Hmm. I miss I miss his little dog. <laughs> it's a real cute dog. So so that is what I sewed this week. I am working on my middle daughter's um, Halloween costume. That's a little slow going because, like I said, i um, been very busy this this week and last week, I had another eye procedure done on Tuesday. So Tuesday and Wednesday was pretty much out of it. Um, couldn't really see well while I recovered. So I was able to get those shorts done for my husband on Thursday because I really wanted to do something for the he, he made June 22. That's a hashtag, and if you want to um, see what other people created, search that hashtag on YouTube and probably on Instagram. It is, I haven't talked about it, I don't think, on this channel, but I don't know if you've noticed, if you do sew for the male in your life, there is very limited patterns for men. Um, a lot of the patterns that I've sewn for my husband have been like unisex, like those pajamas, those are unisex, but I did make him that shirt last year so there are some patterns but there's there's nearly there's not nearly as many patterns as for women that's for sure so sometimes it can be hard to sew for the man in your life so the head point of that hashtag was to bring awareness to that and maybe some of these pattern companies will see hey we really are lacking in the men's department we need to make more patterns for men and also make them in um, a wider range of sizes. I know Adam Sews has sometimes a hard time getting his size because he is on the smaller size, like a lot of the pattern sizes are too big for him. And then my husband is almost on the other side. Like he fits into pretty much the larger size of the regular men's patterns. Like he's a 46 in the shirts which is usually the largest a lot of them go to and then he's also an extra large in those pajama bottoms so if he was any bigger i wouldn't have been able to use any of those patterns and i'm pretty sure there's probably some indie patterns that i could probably go to but since i normally sew for myself or my daughters i will have to do some research into that to see what pattern companies do set do um to have patterns for men and then maybe are more size inclusive because i know i found i was lucky to find some independent pattern companies that are size inclusive for me so i the you know like i do love notions and i do ellie and mac and ellie and mac i can do for my daughter who is like an extra small and all the way up to me which i'm not going to say what my measurements are but it is larger than what the usually the big four patterns do so those I really enjoy doing. I enjoy having one pattern that I can make for the whole family. It's really, that is really convenient. So I guess that is all for me today. Um, on the personal level, don't have really much going on. My youngest child um, finished her summer, summer school. She took one class um, over the summer. It was purely online. But she did have to go into the school to take the test. It had to be like proctored. So she passed, um, she passed with a decent grade on the final exam and then got a B plus in the class overall. So that was really good. Very happy about that. Didn't take too much of her time. She pretty much did it whenever she was bored. It, it was about a four week, four to five week program. And you could work at your own pace. 
So if she wasn't doing anything that day, she could work on it all day and got ahead and then you know, had to do some projects. So it was a really good experience. So that was great. So that is all for me today. Thank you for joining me today and for spending some of your time with me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see some more of my projects that I'm working on. Please comment. Let me know. Do you have a man that you sew in your life? And do you have a hard time finding patterns for them? And if you do use some independent patterns for men, please let me know which ones they are so I can check them out. Because my husband would like me to sew more for him, and I would like to sew more for him as well. Just, you know, a little bit out of a loss for some patterns that of clothing that I think he would wear. Um, because a lot of times it's like some like sweatpants or just, just clothing that's not his type. His, his type. Like he likes the, you know, the woven shorts and he likes the camp shirts you know that's kind of more his style so i hope where you are the sun is shining i hope your family is healthy and i hope you have time each and every day to be creative even if it's just for a little bit thank you and have a wonderful day bye